Hello and welcome back. You're watching CNN News 18. Now we are shifting our focus to some international news where the unrest in France continues as protests over 17-year-old youth death at the hands of the police escalate. Now protesters have set thousands of vehicles on fire, vandalized houses and shops while riot police officers tried to contain them. Now, the unrest prompted a crisis response from French President Emmanuel Macron, who held an emergency meeting with his Council of Ministers. Now, he blamed video games for the ongoing riots. Remember, the protests come after a police officer shot dead a teenager, Nehil, who was an Algerian of Algerian heritage, during a traffic stop in the Paris suburb of Najer earlier this week. There is an unacceptable instrumentalization of the death of a teenager, which we all deplore. But this time should be about contemplation and respect. In the face of this, I formally condemn those who are using this situation and this time to try and create disorder and target our institutions. The responsibility they bear is damning, and I formally condemn, we all do, this pure and unjustifiable violence that has no legitimacy. Ces violences pures et injustifiables qui n'ont aucune légitimité. Well, cutting across to a breaking piece of input from France itself, where France is preparing for a partial internet shutdown in an attempt to disrupt the riots. Now, while in clashes and looting continued in France for a fourth day following the police shooting of a teenager. Now, the unrest was sparked by the tragic police shooting of a teenager and has placed President Emmanuel Macron under increasing pressure. Now, France, I like to repeat it for my viewers, is preparing for a partial sh internet shutdown in an attempt to disrupt the ongoing riots. Now, French president has also urged parents to keep children off the streets and blamed the social media. Now, 270 arrests have been made so far and the French territories overseas are also experiencing unrest in the areas. The national football team called, has also called for peace, but so far the authorities are trying to focus on a partial shutdown in the, 